Aladdin and the Magic Lamp Aladdin was a poor boy from a poor village. He lived only with his mother in a poor shack. But Aladdin dreamed of doing great things one day and buy his mother a nice house. A sorcerer from Maghreb came to the village, pretending to be a rich merchant in need of an apprentice. He chose Aladdin from all other boys. Aladdin was proud and promised his mother he would work hard. But the sorcerer really needed Aladdin to fetch a magic lamp from a booby-trapped magic cave. The sorcerer could not do it, for anyone who tried had died. So he tricked Aladdin to go down into the darkness of the cave. Deep in the belly of the earth were crystal wonders in stone and blind fish in icy waters. A million bats lined the cave roof and skeletons of those who had died lay on the ground. Aladdin noticed a ring just beyond the outstretched hand of one of the skeletons and he picked it up and put it on. But he came for a lamp, so he continued looking and there a lamp sat on a pedestal of stone. Aladdin reached for the lamp, but as he did, he heard a scraping sound and he leaped backwards just as a huge stone block fell from above. Because of his quick wit, he just missed being killed. He grabbed the lamp and ran back to the entrance of the cave. But when he handed the lamp up and asked for help getting out, the sorcerer laughed and pushed the stone over the entrance, trapping Aladdin. Aladdin knew he was doomed and rubbed his hands together in despair. But he also rubbed the ring and boom! From the ring, a djinn appeared. I him from the cave. Then he spotted the sorcerer and commanded the djinn to freeze him like a statue. But the lamp the sorcerer held did not freeze, for it was a magic lamp. With his magic ring and his magic lamp, Aladdin flew back to his home. He commanded the djinn of the ring for riches and the djinn of the lamp for a palace and then he and his mother lived happily ever after. Until the day Princess Badrul Bado, the Emperor's daughter was kidnapped by the evil Wazir and Aladdin took his ring and his lamp rescued her. But that is a story for another day.